Okay, I had about a half a bushel of sweet potatoes that I wanted to store because we still had sweet potatoes from last year and the year before that were jarred up and um, I'll be using some of those probably this fall and winter but um, I wanted to use those before I use some of the newer ones. Now we did bake some of the new ones and make several other recipes and just overall we just love sweet potatoes in this house but um, like I said I had about a half a bushel that I wanted to go ahead and get stored and we still have more that I've been digging up so I took them and I, re I, I cooked them um, I actually I pressure cooked them I want to say I just pressure cooked them until they were really soft 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 and mushy and then I took them and I mashed them and I spread them out on my dehydrator sheets with the Paraflex on it not with these screens with the Paraflex on top of these screens really thin and I dehydrated them for about 12 hours uh, maybe a little bit longer but roughly 12 hours and um, on 125 so that they would turn into like thin crispy sheets and the reason why I did it this way is because I've done it before where I've cooked them and I've shredded them and, and, and done it like that but um, when I make it like this then I can put them in this is just a, a coffee grinder or a cafe meal so when you do them like this when you mash them and then lay them out really thin and dehydrate them like that then you get these nice crispy sheets and then I just take my regular coffee mill well it's not my regular coffee mill I have two of these I don't want to get this wrong I have two of these and one of them I use for stuff like this making powders out of stuff and the other one I use actually for coffee okay so you just put it in and you, being as it's small and there's bigger ones now I could put these in my big grinder um, my grain maker grinder and and that's what I do with the shredded ones sometimes but basically you just grind them up turns it into a powder. I don't know, let me see if you can see that. Yeah, it turns it into a powder. And by turning it into a powder, I can use it for a lot of things. Let me see, I've got a little LED light under here. There we go, so it shed some light on the subject. And as you'll see, one little piece didn't, but this makes it very usable for a lot of recipes. What I do is, it makes it easy to reconstitute very quickly. You can use cold water, hot water, and basically you just add it in and start stirring it until it gets to the texture and the consistency that you like. It is really great to do things like uh, sweet potato pancakes and using it for sweet potato flours. You can do all kinds of different things with it. Um, makes really great sweet breads. So good idea to keep in mind, little things like that, but it's quick and easy way to reconstitute. Now, granted, storing it as in dehydrating it and then powdering it takes more time initially than some of the other ways you might use but still I think overall it's worth it because like I said it is so quick and easy and you know what it's a great baby food too um, we've got another grandbaby on the way and I'm looking forward to it and all of our grandchildren have loved sweet potatoes so this one might also so maybe have a whole bunch of homemade sweet potato baby food too on top of it. Great way to do with apples and, and uh, many other things. Okay, and what I did, I just uh, made some very warm tap water and I'm just going to put in just a little bit at a time because there's hardly any in here. And you see that? Yeah, just that quick. It's like, that's what's so great. Like I said, you spend a little more time up front, but it just reconstitutes so quickly. I mean, think about it. Pies, whatever you want. Look at that. See how nice and the texture is just like sweet potatoes that have been cooked. So, I mean, you really, you just can't ask for more than that. Mmm. And they taste instantly great, too. Just want to show you real quick. Um, you'll see, like, on the edges, 
where it got it's a little thicker on the edges these parts these thicker pieces don't really do real well in here so I kind of separate them out and then I can do those in my big grinder I can just leave them like they are and use them rehydrate them like they are but if you'll see a lot of these pieces are so thin and it takes some work to spread sweet potatoes that thin but I tell you what it's worth it in the end when you're doing this because you'll see it just cracks it's like little sheets okay and that makes it much easier to process for this okay so you'll see oops sorry I didn't mean to bump it see how thin that is compared to this piece and there we go yeah so you can really see the difference there I've got a couple of those so anyway just a little quick tip okay there you have it that is almost a half a bushel of sweet potatoes turned into let's see these jars hold 15 ounces so about 15 maybe another ounce there if even and or you know we're talking about volume here not weight obviously and um, these all the ones in this jar can you see all the ones in this jar um, were the ones that I just felt were probably too thick to mess around with in that little one so like I said I'll either use them like they are rehydrate them eat them just like they are because oh my gosh they're so good just you know naturally sweet um, or rehydrate them grind them with my big grinder whatever but that is a lot easier to store than a bushel basket so um, you just can't ask for more than that easy to store fast food homestead fast food it's the way to do it have a great day